Bulls honoring their only senior, Corey Allen Jr., last regular season home game of the year. Bulls and Tulane, let's get it started. Anthony Collins drives in, finds Bo Ziegler for the dunk, and the Bulls are off and running against the Green Wave. Tulane got a big lift from 6'8 forward Peyton Henson, five out of six from the floor, 13 points against the Bulls. AC with a quick little jumper here. He had eight points, did a great job distributing the ball. As always, he had 10 assists. Tulane took a lot of outside shots, 21 three-point attempts. They made seven of them, enough to build an 11-point halftime lead. Second half, and the Bulls came back really strong, almost pulled off the comeback win. Here's AC going underneath. Nehemiah Murillo scores. He had 16 points, key part of the Bulls' offense once again. In transition, this time Murillo's going to stop and pop, and that's good. And the Bulls made it all the way back into a tight game with Tulane in this second half. Here's AC driving to the basket, high off the glass, puts it in for two for the Bulls. Tulane had some key shots down the stretch, so inside it goes. Jay Hook with the basket, chance for the three-point play. Here's the Bulls' leading scorer of the day, Troy Holston Jr., 21 points. He has really built his game toward the second half of this season. Here's a big reason why. Passes up the three, goes inside, puts the ball on the floor, takes the two, and hits for the Bulls. But down the stretch, Jonathan Stark, a couple of key baskets for Tulane. The green wave enough to go on to the victory. Bulls move on now to the conference tournament. First game will be Thursday, March 12th. For Bulls Cast, I'm Jim Love.